Watch my smoke. Now, what direction is the wind going? It's obviously going that way. Now, what if you were blind? How would you know? If it was a strong breeze, you might feel it on your face. But if it was a very, very slow, mild breeze, kind of like right now, it's kind of hard to tell. So what did Grandpa used to do? He'd lick his finger, and he'd stick his finger up in the air. Make your finger wet, give it a lick, stick it up in the air. And the side, the opposite, if this side of my finger got cold, that means that the breeze is going that way. So why is a dog's nose wet? I've looked everywhere and nobody knows. They tell you things like, well, there's a gland that secretes mucus, and this mucus helps them, helps them track, it helps them pick up scent, and those things may be true, but they don't explain why. Why? They don't explain why. And what, how is it useful? See, I observe my dog. I have a plot hound. It's a mix between a bloodhound and a lab. And he would lose his toy, and he would go, he'd put his nose to the ground, and he would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And when he picked up that scent, pirrow, he would just shoot off in a certain direction, like he knew where to go. Now imagine you were blind and deaf, so you had no visual or audible clues. And you're walking down the street, and you smell barbecue. And you're hungry and you want to know where that barbecue is coming from how would you know how to find that barbecue remember you're you're blind and you're deaf but you can smell the barbecue you have 360 degrees to choose from and if you went downwind where the scent is going you're still gonna smell it and you're gonna think you're on the right track but you're not on the right track because if the barbecue scent is going that way, and you go that way, you're still going to smell the barbecue smell, but you're going away from the barbecue. But if you lick your finger and stick your finger up in the air, and this side of your finger is cold, you know the breeze is coming from that direction, the opposite direction. You know that that's upwind. That's where it's coming from. And if you want to track a scent, and you, you finally sniff 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 and you find the scent you know that upwind is where it's coming from that's how you know where to go to find the source of the scent that's why a dog's nose is wet and I've looked everywhere I've looked on pet MD I've looked at Caesars website and they all say the same thing well there's a gland it makes the dog's nose wet sometimes it helps the dog cool itself it helps the dog you know pick up scents Nope. It's for direction. Because when you lick your finger and you stick your finger up in the air, if your nose is wet and that side of your nose is cold, you know that the wind and the breeze is coming from that direction. That's why. You're welcome.